Yo, so what is up my broskies? My name is Lupus, and today I have some major news that I'm so excited to give you guys. I'm I'm just absolutely pumped about this. This is about Xbox One. This is some of the latest information that we have been given that was just skipped over. People didn't really understand. People didn't care to learn, and people didn't care to find out what the whole DRM idea behind the Xbox One is, and I'm so excited to give this to you guys, because I hope that this will give you guys faith to understand how the Xbox One is legitimately going to work, because a lot of you guys switched over to PlayStation because of the used games feature and the 24-hour online feature. So, let, without further ado, let us get started. I found an article on Reddit.com that has quotes directly from Microsoft publishers and creators, and it is. Um, it just clears everything up. That's all there is to it. And if you would like to read this article, you can read it down below. I am uploading it down below for you guys. And if you follow the link, you can read it individually for yourself so you understand because this is major. So I'm going to go ahead and read directly from this. And I will put my input in there and I will let you guys know whenever I'm going to put my input. But without further ado, let us get started. When it comes down to used games... One of the Xbox One's main features is the ability to install the disc directly to the hard drive and play it without a disc. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a feature many asked for when the feature was added to Xbox 360, but it was only allowed to the it only allowed the game to run better. And a lot of you guys probably remember in Xbox 360 there was a feature where you could download the game on there, but you couldn't just play it without. Now they are adding that feature for those of you who don't know. And another thing is whenever you are Whenever you are playing and you do not have, whenever you do not have internet and it logs you out, a lot of people are confused about that. They think that it means that you will not be able to play whenever the 24 hours goes out and it kicks you off the internet. That is not what it means. All that means is if you are playing it downloaded, which I'm sure a lot of you probably will. You probably won't have to, won't want to put a new game in there. You just probably want to go to your downloaded games and then play the game like that. But when your internet goes out and you want to still play that game offline, play a story mode or something, you can do that. All you have to do is put the disc into your Xbox, which should not be too much of a pain, guys, because we've been doing that for years. So all you have to do whenever your internet goes out and you cannot play online, all you have to do is take the disc and put it into your Xbox One. And then you can play the single player in the campaign. So contrary to popular popular belief, you can you do not have to play online in order to play. It is not just a brick, a paperweight. Whenever the internet goes out, that is a that is the most common com uh, comment that I've heard people say about the Xbox One. Whenever the internet goes out, and now I hope you guys understand that that is not true. All you have to do is use the hard copy of the game in order to play offline, and you can use the digital copy any other time if you don't feel like putting the disc in there. So. That is one thing out of the way, and I hope you guys understand that, and it is not as big of a deal as you think. As far as I know, PlayStation 4 doesn't have the ability to install the disc directly to your hard drive, so you'll be putting the disc in there anyway, so probably putting the disc in your Xbox One should not be that big of a deal, and if it is, then you probably need to go get checked out. Okay, another thing that this article says, I'm going to start reading again. Contrary to popular belief, the used game does exist in the Xbox One. This is a quote from Microsoft themselves. Trade in and resell your disc-based games. Today, some gamers choose to sell their old disc-based games back for cash and credit. We decided Xbox One, we designed Xbox One so game publishers can enable you to trade in your games as participating retailers. Microsoft does not charge a platform fee to retailers, publishers, or consumers for enabling transfer of these games. So, basically what that means is you are allowed to sell your game. You are allowed to you, you buy used games you can do that but it is up to the publisher and let me explain this as well I'm going to skip on down the article a little bit it says all first person or all first party games will be allowed to be resold and even given away and basically that means anything such as Halo Titanfall rise anything that is exclusive to the Xbox will be able to be resold and given away to your friends stuff like that and let me explain this as well if any of the other publishers, such as third-party games, such as Battlefield and Call of Duty, I highly doubt that they will decide that you cannot use, you not, you cannot sell your games because of the fact that they are going to be on PlayStation 4. And as most of you know, the PlayStation 4 
is allowing you to use used games. So it doesn't make sense for them to allow PlayStation to give their games for you, you know, allow people to sell their used games on PlayStation and not on Xbox. So all they have to do is give their say so and you can do it. And that will probably happen. Microsoft is not charging a platform fee to the publishers, so they don't have to pay any extra money to do it. So why wouldn't they do it? Think about it. If they aren't having to pay anything for them to get used games, then that is going then why would they not do it? Another thing the thing says, it says, what can we take away from this? As I was just saying, easy. If you bought a disc-based game, you can sell and trade it to any participating retailer. It means the game publishers will work out deals with retailers in order for the developers and publishers to take a cut of used game sales. So, does it not make more sense for them to make extra money by allowing you to sell used games. For instance, they can have a partnership with GameStop or any other used game store where when you sell your game to the GameStop and then the GameStop sells your game again, the company that originally made the game gets even more money from that. Why would they not want to do that? It's just a way for them to make even more money. So I believe that every single game corporation, publisher, everybody is probably going to let you used used games on Xbox. So now that we've gotten those two my major things out of the way, what else is bad about the Xbox? That is my question to leave for you guys. I hope you guys did like this video. Be sure to smack that like button. Get that subscribe button to the loving guys. I'm going to keep you guys up to date on the Xbox One because I'm I like the Xbox One. I think it looks great. All these features, I love everything about it so far. And now that I finally got everything cleared up, I hope you guys have got it cleared up. Just comment down below. I mean, if you're an if you're a PlayStation fan, don't be like, "Cause Xbox just sucks." If you can think of something legitimate, because honestly, the Xbox has the same graphical capabilities as PlayStation. The controllers are both very nice, and this clears up everything. You can use used games. There's no problem with it. They just have a misconception. They wanted to let you know that if the publisher decides you can't, then you can't. But 99% of the time, the publisher will. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.